So the first thing, this is an electrophile. So what chance has this got to have somewhere on it? Positive. positive. Which bit's going to be positive, do you think? Brilliant. Sulfur. How would I, if I just ignored all of this, how would I know that the sulfur was going to be delta positive? Because it's electronegativity. Yeah, electronegativity. Oxygen is really electronegative. So I can put in my dipoles. So they may see in the question, put your dipoles on. And then sulfur is delta plus. And then you just pop your arrows in. The first thing that's going to happen is that your electrons are going to come out and they're going to go to my sulfur. But if you look at this next step here, what's happened to that double bond? It's broken. It's broken. So that double bond has gone to that oxygen there. So by adding these arrows on, that gives me my intermediate here. What do you reckon I need to do to this one? What's always the next step? Bagging. H goes there. So the electrons go back into the benzene ring. That gives me... <coughs> O minus plus H plus. Final step. Yeah, back. and I draw that with my electrons going to the H plus. <coughs> and that gives me my product. And that's a typical exam question that they give you part of the mechanism and you just have to add in your arrows as you go along.